Hello and welcome back once again. You're here with me, Zan Drayton, and we are here to play some FTL. We've got our sweet artillery beam. We need to unpause as usual. We got 72 scrap. I think we were saving it. Okay, we're at the exit. I think we're gonna jump to the next sector. Is the plan? Probably be a bad idea to do anything else. So we have choice between uncharted and slug controlled. Ooh, I think we were going to do slug controlled, even though that means we're going to be stuck in another nebula later on. We're just going to have to, we're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, sweet. The slugs that live in this nebula field are a, a leisure-centered civilization. Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extravagant ventures. This, inevitably, leads to much treachery in open space. Sweet. Okay. Um, time to jump. We're in the nebula, so, I mean, we're kind of screwed. We're not going to come across anything that's not nebula, so we might as well just pretend that nothing is nebula and move about as usual. This is going to suck balls. All right. Oh, damn. We're only down to seven fuel. Hmm. Your sensors are no match for the slug's uh, telepathic abilities. A ship you never even saw opens fire from astern. Great. And okay. So it's just messing with our sensors. That's not too bad. Burst laser attack their weapons. We'll have our whole missile. Um, let's have our first shot attack their weapons too. And let's go ahead and unpause. We've got extra power to put somewhere, but we don't really need to because we've got Charlie on the, uh, ooh. That's one of those really nasty lasers. Uh-oh. Uh, our laser can't get through their stuff. Oh, yes! Our artillery beam for the win. Um, we need to, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. We need to have this attack their shields. Um, otherwise we're never going to get through their shields with our laser. Although our artillery beam's about to go again, and that always kicks ass. So, you know, there's that. There we go. Now their shields are a little bit off, worse off. There we go. Let's have that constantly attack their shields. Let's swap that over to shooting the empty room. Here we go. Now they're boned. <laughs> they're already dead. You've bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? Uh, no. Yeah, because they're already dead. That's the best part. Uh, one missile, one drone part, 47 scrap. Booyah, bitches. Okay. We're up to 119 scrap. We could try to get more toward the shields. One of the things for sure is with us being in the nebula, we're going to want to put more into our reactor. At least one more for sure. And then... Um, we could, well, let's not put anything else into that for now. Um, we've already got blast doors. Improved blast doors aren't really needed yet. Um, the thing is, improving the sensors doesn't help us. That's the annoying thing. Um, while we're in this nebula, improving the sensors is just kind of a moot point. Uh, let's jump. So, let's head over here. Why not? It's as good as any other place. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up! They do have a teleporter, so we gotta be a little careful. First things first. Damn, they got three shields again. This is kind of getting annoying. Um... Have that attack their shields, have this attack their shields, and uh, unpause. Someone is in the ship. Um, we need to have Matt go figure out where they went. Oh, there they are. They're in. Oh, you know what we can do? We can just uh, open that, open that, and uh, let those suckers die. Oh, they got in. All right, 
you get in there. You also get in there. Whoops! Whoops! Oh, damn. We need to shut those doors. That's bad. Let's open those doors really quick. Disperse that oxygen. Bitches. Bitches be running away. Alright, now we're kicking their asses. Is Ligardi... Uh, I need to just stop pausing. Ligardi is the guy from the oxygen room. Here from there. You guys hear a fire? I hear a fire. Let's get Ligardi over there. Put that fire out, Ligardi! Alright, we kicked their asses. Done deal. Three fuel, one drone part, and 35 scrap. Good job, buddy. We're gonna need to put a bunch of people in the med bay. You get in the med bay. You get in the med bay. You two both get in the med bay. Markel, you go ahead and head back there. You're full on health. Anybody else take damage? Nope. Matt, oh man, kicking ass, taking names. We need to shut all the doors. There we go. Um, 124 scrap. Boy, um, we don't have any like extra equipment that we're not using. No. I think we just want to save up until we have 180. Um, and then we can upgrade, get one more shield, and that'll help us a bunch. Boy, where do we want to jump to? Let's head, uh, let's head down over here, I guess. We got a good amount of fuel, that's nice. A slug transport ship is stationed near the beacon with a military ex escort ship. They message you. We have been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wares? Um, hmm. See, the interesting thing is, they got a lot of weapons. They got three different weapons on their ship. And, um, it didn't say it was a shop. Uh, why don't we ask to see the goods, though? Before we get ahead of ourselves, I need to explain some ground rules of our transaction. These are dangerous times, yes? Uh... First, we accept no trades, coupons, or refunds. Purchases are final, understand? Uh, yeah, understood. God, these guys, they talk too slow. We hold no liability for products damages damaged post-sale. We offer no insurance or customer service. Not a problem? Uh, sure, not a problem, bitch. Uh, great. Let me show you our wares. It's not often I meet a patient aliens have this complimentary fuel oh wow and he turned into a store what a badass nice okay um so we got heavy ion which requires two power 13 second charge time but it does two ion damage or we have an s bomb that would use missiles though we already have one missile weapon i don't know if we want to do that drone control Hmm. I think we should get this heavy ion and then upgrade our weapons so we can use it. I think that is the answer. Damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use the heavy ion. That'll help us uh, like penetrate shields with our damn burst laser. Alright, now we need to upgrade the weapons. Um, Alright, for now that's good, but we'll probably, what we're going to do is, depending on what we're fighting, we'll turn off the, um, yeah, we'll turn off the missiles and turn on the heavy ion. Uh, you know what, I shouldn't have spent that scrap until we had enough to do both, because now we're just sitting with less scrap and, you know depending on what we come across. Let's see, we could fix our hole for 12. It's probably not a bad idea. We just did, did just get that complimentary fuel. 
Um. Nah, let's 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 save that 12 scrap because we want to upgrade those weapons as soon as possible. All right, time to jump. Let's go down. The rebels are going to advance really slowly, so we have lots of time to just explore this place like a mofo. So let's head down here first. Oh, crap. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. Okay, ah, see? His uh, shields are super messed up, too. Um... Because of the power crisis, we'd rather have oxygen. Let's turn our burst laser on. And let's target their weapons. And then uh, let's take... Let's get that third shield up. Our oxygen's going to suffer a little bit at first. When did Valeria get so damaged? Holy crap, that's not good. Um, got a damn boarding drone. Ah, oh, did it make a breach in there too? Wow, what an ass. Okay, we definitely need to turn the oxygen back on. Um, God, this is bad. This is bad. Um, probably, let's just sacrifice one of our shields and put the extra power back into the oxygen and into our artillery beam. All right, Ligardi, you gotta get in there. We need the med bay up. You go ahead and head in there too. Ah, he's just damaging the oxygen now. What an ass. God, not enough power. This is always the most annoying part. You two get back in there. Kick his ass. Okay, we need to open all doors, spread out that oxygen. Oh god. Matt, get in there. Oh, another breach? Are you serious? Okay. Ligardi needs to get in there too. Then we definitely need to uh, sacrifice the artillery beam for having the oxygen on. These guys are assholes. Oh, damn it, we need to close the doors because of the breach caused by the damn drones. Okay, Matt needs to get in there and help kill that asshole. Alright, we could get two fuel, uh, two missiles, and 27 scrap. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I mean, we might... We gotta keep with tradition. We won't accept surrender. Hell no. Although, I need to pause this. We need to open this door, open this door, open this door. We gotta spread out some of this oxygen that we're losing here. We need to send Brian to the med bay. We need to send Ligardi into the room that needs repairs. Alright, we kicked their asses. Did he repair that? Alright, yeah, three fuel, one missile, 45 scrap. Way better. All right, now we need to open all doors. Wow, that was rough. You guys need to get to the med bay. Valeria, you also need to get to the med bay. Go ahead. Brian, you head there. Valeria, you go there. 
Yowza! That was rough. Okay. We're doing okay now, though. Matt, Larry, you get back on weapons. Matt, you head back to the weapon room, too. How's, uh, Valeria's doing okay on the weapons now. That's good. Oh, Nathan's a little damaged. Did not notice that. What about you guys? Health 100. Charlie. Health 70. 75 his max? No, 70. Okay. Alright. Head back there. Close all doors. We're ready to jump again. Wow. Yikes. Um, 75 for one more power to the weapons. Uh, oh, man. I almost think it's worth it more to just put more into the reactor for now. Because we're going to be coming up with that same problem. And I don't, I don't like it. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Put one more into the reactor. Okay, now let's jump. Hoah, that was rough. Let's head down here. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Let's attack that bitch. Power up your weapons and move in to engage. All right. Um, what do we got? We got tons of power. We got power up the yin yang. So let's turn on that. Put that in that. Turn off the med bay. Get our shields. Ah, oh, full evasion. This is sweet. Okay. Heavy ion, you will attack the shields. Burst laser, you're gonna attack the weapons. And go! Boom, boom. Oh, missiles. Bitches. Haha, <laughs> miss. Another missile. Oh, crap. Okay, Lagarde, you get in there. Damn bastards. Lagarde, you need to head in there now. All these flipping missiles. Let's see. We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Uh, hell nah. Screw you, bitches. You gon' die. Here goes our artillery beam. It's about to kill them. Or nearly kill them, I guess. Ion, keep their shields down, and... One more burst laser for the win! Yeah! Eat it, bitches. Uh, 37 scrap. Wow. That's, that wasn't so great. But, we can afford to upgrade our weapons one more time. Ah. Let's do it. Man, that heavy ion is just... I think we're gonna need, um... It's okay. Let's jump. I think we're gonna need like maybe another ion weapon if we want to use this sort of configuration. The ion weapon that comes default with the NG ship is just so ridiculously good. Um, but I think it requires more power, so if we come across one like that, we're gonna need more power to the weapons anyway, so. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you, scans reveal the solid-looking rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of useful materials. Alright. Okay. There's a store over here. Let's jump here first, I guess. Because otherwise we'll have nothing to buy. We have one scrap. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Um, let's attack the automated ship. Obviously. Come on now. That bitch has cloaking. Oh, hell. Um, let's turn on our hull missile. Let's get all this stiff... Uh, although nothing charges while the damn bitch is cloaked. This might be a little rough. Oh, God. The bitches with their missiles. And they're teleporting bombs. 
Oh god, get in there, Lagardi. Hey, get in there, Lagardi. Okay. Heavy ion, you attack their shields. Burst laser, you attack them damn weapons. Hole missile, you also attack those weapons. Holy hell. Lagardi, you gotta get back into the med bay. And another smart bomb. Wow! It's probably more important to take care of the oxygen then take care of the fire, but the fire is going to spread. We could just take care of this fire through venting. Let's get in that room in case the fire spread. Damn it! This is one nasty flipping scout. Turn that thing back on. Keep attacking that. Holy crap, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, we can shut all doors. Nope. Shut all doors. Wow. Let's turn the med bay back on. Actually, let's have Lagardi take over for these guys and weapons. They need some healing. God damn. We just need to land one more hit. There we go. Laser. Oh, 47 scrap. Investigate the station. Station is a storage site for various resources. Four fuel, one drone part, and 28 scrap. Okay, that's not bad. Damn, I'm glad we're going to the shop. Holy hell. Yikes. This is ridiculous. Um, okay. How are these guys doing? You're getting pretty close to being maxed on that. Um, you're not doing so well on the shields. We might need to start swapping them when we get in combat because we're not doing so well. Um, let's jump. Uh, let's jump to the store. Huge slug. Uh, teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Um, wow. This would be the place to get drones. Let's see. Let's fix all for 48. And then, uh, damn. Anti-ship too. Man, anti-ship drones are so nice. They just constantly keep the shields down on the enemy ship, but we don't we really don't have the power to equip a drone control and equip you know other stuff as well. We just don't we just don't have the assets for that. Oh, I wish he had a better ion weapon or something. I'm feeling like maybe we should buy some more missiles. No, for now let's let's just jump. We gotta keep saving for our own ship upgrades. Um, let's head up here. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage. What does he have? He has at least three different weapons. Two of them are beam type weapons, and one of them looks like a really nasty missile launcher. And he has his crew teleporter. Um, three shields. That's kind of annoying. I mean, okay. Let's uh, let's let's do the coin flippy dippy. There's a. Do I have a coin? What do I do with all my coins? Hold on, I got one right over here. Uh, come here. What? Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, heads, we stay hidden. Tails, we prepare to chase them. Tails, every cut, every time. I'm not even making this up, I swear. Prepare to chase them. Without sensors, you can't maintain a lock for long. The rebels slip away. Oh, okay, that didn't matter. <laughs> Alright, let's jump, I guess. Let's head over here. 
You arrive to find a small slug repair station. Greetings, traveler. Care for a fix-up? We could easily patch up some damage. Um, let's ask if they would like payment. We don't have any hull damage, so this is just for curiosity's sake. Just before the transmission is cut, you hear, They're not falling for it. Just kill the crew and we can strip. And then, looks like you're not getting out of here without a fight. Oh, wowza. Okay. Um, damn. Yikes. Uh, this is gonna be nasty. Oh, uh, really nasty. Oh, wow. We might be screwed. The ion, okay. First laser needs to be shooting at their weapons. Heavy ion needs to be shooting at their shields. Hole missile needs to be shooting at their... Um, I think once we need to shoot at their shields and then we'll shoot at their weapons. Oh, okay, that's just a laser. I thought this was a missile launcher. Oh, see, this isn't too bad, actually. Although we need to swap who's on there. And we'll go ahead and swap who's on here. Oh, those bitches. They got through with their really nasty laser. Alright, let's turn off. Or rather, let's stop auto-firing our missiles. I don't think uh, we need them anymore. You have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? Hell no! We don't roll that way. Brian's a little low on health. Two fuel, one drone part, 52 scrap. Booyah. Okay, is anybody else low on health? 100, 100, 100. Do, do, yeah. 70. All right, we're good. We are good. Go ahead and have these guys swap again. Do, do. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You get back in there. You get back in there. Let's prepare to jump. Actually, now we need to save up 180 for our next shield point. Although, we do need, and we're going to go through another nebula section after this, so let's go ahead and throw one more into the reactor so we got some extra to work with. Alright, time to jump. Boo! -hoo. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Um, damn, we don't have enough scrap to purchase an unknown weapon. Ah, let's uh, let's attack him. I guess we don't got anything else we can really do. All right, burst laser. You attack that whole missile. Um, he's just got lasers, so heavy ion. You attack their shields, and let's see if they can even penetrate our shields. For now, we'll leave Charlie on our shields, but we might take him off, depending on how many shots these things do. Is that is that a four shot? Oh god, our laser, our artillery beam is just so good. I love it. I think this thing does four shots. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Oh, hell no. We will shoot that whole missile right at their cockpit. Suck on this, bitches. Uh, no, we don't accept surrender. That's not how we roll. We're just gonna kill you the good old fashioned way. Perfect. Uh, three fuel, one drone part, and 42 scrap. Nice! Okay. All right, time to jump. Oh, there's a store here. Um, yeah, let's go to the store. You cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It could take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes, but there's business to be done. 
Uh, damn it. Boarding drone, defense drone, crew teleporter. I guess we might as well fix our hull. Other than that, it's like, yeah. We can't jump back to the exit, which kind of sucks. We just wasted some fuel, but we've got 15, so that's not too bad. All right, let's just jump to the exit, and then I think that's the end of this episode. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When uh, the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. All right, it's charged. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. It's always great having you. Um, what is that next sector, anyway? I guess next time we're going to be going to an uncharted nebula. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Like, comment. Let me know how uh, I can make my series better, what other series you'd like to see. And, uh, and yeah, until uh, whatever stuff's... I, uh, what I was going to say, see you guys next time. But now I screwed it all up. So, farewell, fine traveler, something. God, so lame.